Have you heard about Facebook's partnership with Ray-Bans? Yes, they've gotten together and they have created these amazing smart glasses that I'm going to show you right now. Hey, I'm Jen Lehner. I'm a digital marketing and system strategist. And today we're going to take a look at Facebook's new Ray-Bans. They're called Facebook Stories. And I did an unboxing video that you can click right there to watch. But beyond the unboxing, I didn't really show you much else because the Ray-Bans weren't charged. So let's take a look at these bad boys. Okay, so first of all, you'll notice that they come in this really nice case. It feels like leather. I don't think it is, but it feels like it is. And here are the glasses. And what you'll notice is that, see the little green charging light, or that shows that they're charged. And then on the back side is the charging port and you plug it in and then you put your glasses inside and there's that little connection place right there. And then on the back side of the glasses, you put them in and they connect and they charge that way. Okay, so fully charged. Now let's talk about how cool they look because they're Wayfarers. They're, they, they're the classic Wayfarer design. They have other styles. Now you'll notice there's sort of like a yellow tint on these, but in real life, they're clear. They don't look like this in real life. And you'll notice there are these two little circles right here. One of them is a video camera. So check it out. Hey, Facebook, record. Now you see that white light came on and I am now recording and on the, if I was just walking around, I wasn't looking at myself in the camera, I would know I was recording also because I could look to my right and see the little white light inside. Okay, uh, hey Facebook, stop. So you'll see it stopped recording. I can also record by hitting the little button here and then hitting it again. Also, there are speakers built in. You can't see them, kind of, there's just like a little tiny groove the other thing I can do is say, hey, Facebook, take a picture. There, it just took a snapshot. So these can take pictures, these can film video. The other thing that they can do is because of the speakers that are here, if somebody calls me via my phone, these are connected via Bluetooth, and so I can hear perfectly well. But you should know that anybody who's walking by you can hear your music if you're listening to your music, Spotify, you're on a phone call, they'll be able to hear the sound that's coming out of it as somebody is close by you. So you should be warned about that. But the sound quality is really pretty good. Now, what I didn't realize when I purchased these, which these cost $300, what I didn't realize was that you only can film for about 30 seconds. So really inconvenient. In fact, my son was playing his violin for my mom who was in hospice and he was playing this beautiful song and it cut off after 30 seconds. Like I had to do it two more times, so not the end of the world. I, I can squish them together in editing. But since then, I have been looking at them kind of differently to see like, how are these gonna fit into my content creation? And I think that if I had gotten sunglasses, it would have made more sense. So I got, you can get them with prescriptions, you could get them as sunglasses, or you could get them just clear lenses. So these are clear lenses. And my thinking was, I could wear them sort of like to be fashionable, right? But It'll be so great to have my hands free so I can record like B-roll for the YouTube channel and that sort of thing. But I think the 30 second limit is gonna is a deal killer and I think I'm actually going to be returning these. But if I would have gotten the sunglasses, then I could say, well, they're sunglasses with these extra features. So my advice to you is probably either get them as prescription that you would wear all the time as like prescription glasses that has this extra feature or get them as sunglasses, but to, just to get them to be a camera, mm, I don't think so. So the battery supposedly holds its charge for about six hours and the quality of the videos and the images are good. They're not, as good, you can't zoom in obviously or anything like that. So you've already seen samples of what the video looks like. Here's another one. Okay, so I just told the glasses to record. Um, you do that by saying FB. I'm not gonna say the name because I don't wanna mess up the recording, but um, then it just starts recording. And I, when I tell it to stop, it will stop. So the microphone that I'm using is in the glasses. So this, this is it. And here are a couple of pictures that I took with the glasses. So 
So let's talk about the creepy factor. The one thing that I think is really good is that when you hit record, that light is pretty bright. I don't know if you can see it, but in real life, because I've got the ring light shining on it, but in real life, this light is pretty bright. So it would be hard to, if you're trying to be sneaky, I think it would be really hard to be sneaky. And in fact, here's a video that I took at Lion King last night that I didn't let it run very long because I was so paranoid. I'm a rule follower and I was so paranoid that someone from the Lion King company would see this bright light. So here's that video from the Lion King. Where do the videos go? Where do the photos go? Do they go to Facebook? No, but I'm glad you asked. They go into a separate app, as you'll see right here, that automatically syncs as soon as your glasses are near the app. When you open the app, it syncs automatically and they go right there. You can edit inside the app. Then you can from there share it to Facebook if you want, but you could share it to anywhere. It's just a separate app and does not go anywhere near your Facebook unless you actively make that so. I don't think it's gonna be super easy to sneak with these and that's a good thing. But with the photo thing, super easy to just like take photos, click, 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 just keep pressing that button, click, 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 and nobody is gonna know the difference, which is really kind of scary and is really kind of creepy. So are you gonna get the Wayfarers? Let me know, just put your comments down below what you think of these, are they creepy, are they cool? I'd love to know what you think. And if you like this video and wanna see more of them, make sure you like and subscribe and hit that little bell so you never miss one of my product reviews or trainings.